Hello everybody. So here in this video, we are going to learn how to implement what to wake in Python, right? So to do that, there are multiple ways. What we're going to see over here are two. One, you can supply your own list of documents or sentences or text, and you can train your own model using what to wake library. The second method is you can use pre-trained model. In this video, we'll see the one trained by Google on Google News. Let's jump to the Jupyter Notebook and try to do each of these one by one. So first we will see how can we make this by supplying our own document or list of sentences or paragraph, whatever it is, right? For that first thing which we're going to do is we're going to use the Jensim library. So Jensim library has the model word wake, word to wake. Okay. So to use word to wake, we need to import Jensim. If you are going to do this for the first time, just make sure that you install this. You can just type this kind of syntax and you just run that. It will install. It will do the installation. Okay. Once you're done with importing the Jensim library, you supply your text over here to make the video quick and keep it specific. I'm not writing the code. How, uh, instead, I'm using the pre-written code. I just wrote these codes and trained the model. I'll be repeating the same thing over here. So here I supplied my data, which says she looks awesome. She looks awful. She looks amazing, right? These three sentences I have supplied over here. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is from Jensim library, I'm going to use this particular function, which is simple pre-process, right? Which does nothing but it will do the tokenization of sentence and words right so here you see you have supplied just one list and when you do the pre-processing what it gonna do is it will iterate through each of the sentences and it will create a separate list for each of the sentence and it will break the break each of the sentence into words and each list will contain the list of words let me show you how it works so when you hit control enter so it is done now here i'll uncomment this and i'll show you so what you see over here is she looks awesome this is just one sentence over here if you see that has been broken down means that has been tokenized right this is what we learned in the tokenization link is given in the description section check out the playlist for that also if you have not seen that now once you are done with once you are done with this the next thing which comes is making your model okay so when you say making the model you need to supply these parameters which is mainly windows what is windows means is so what to make does the prediction okay so um, it, it will find similarity basis on its neighbor for example when you supply looks and when you give the value for windows one then it will look to its it, it it will find the neighbor one back and one after minus and plus one if you say two then what it, what it will do is let's say for this let, let's take this word okay so for this it will find the neighbors two behind and two after okay so this is how it, and basis on that it will find the similarity score it will generate the similarity score okay so here i'm just going to keep two windows equals to two and minimum count equals to one so usually you should um i mean we should we can use two that means here we are asking model to consider only those words which has been repeated at least twice right not once so because here our uh, input is too low so let's make it one okay now train this then you when you come over here so what it does is build vocab now the model is created now we will see what are the words that has been created okay we will we will supply the data into it if you see over here we have doc processed the list which we created over here and then we are providing this progress per parameter as well okay now let's run this once this is done then what next thing which you're gonna do is you just see you see what all are the words that we have what i mean this is this you can consider a list of you know vocabulary right so these are the words which has been created which is apparently clear right now how many corpus that we have is three 
corpus count is three over here okay next thing corpus count three means here we had supplied three list if you see over here right so that's what it is saying next thing which we're gonna do is train the model so this the model is trained over here now once the model is trained you can pick any of the word from this applied input and then you can see how i mean similarity score for other words with this particular word so when you see looks is she is the closest one to looks right and that's how it it uh, shows for other words for example if you want to check the similarity of amazing with rest of the words then awesome is the closest one to amazing now you can if you want you can also find the similarity score between two words you supply two words over here for example here i supplied two words awesome and amazing and it is giving me the result 0 0.17 which you see over here now if i supply awesome and she right so what it gives me is 0 0.004 right so this is how you can uh, find the similarity score between two words this was the first method where we supplied our own data and use what to wake to train this the second method is using the pre-trained model like i said in the beginning here we are going to use the google news uh, google news model right uh, i mean google news which has been uh, created or trained by google itself and so how can you do how can you where can you get well, if you see over here, I have taken this from this Kaggle page, okay? The credit goes to this particular user who has uploaded this over here. However, if you want, you can do the Google and you'll get it. But I'll, to be on safer side, I'll supply, uh, I'll, I'll put this link into the description and you can use that and you can download it. The size is 3.64 GB, so you should be careful about it, okay? Well we are back over here once you are done with downloading that put that into your folder here i have uh, where here i have saved that into this location and supply that with this particular function right and it will create uh, it will it will create the object for pre-trained model once this is done all that you need to do is just check out the similarity so for example i'm checking the similar words to study so studies is the most similar word next thing let's say if you want to find you know uh, player right so you see this is the players players word is the closest one let's say football what we're gonna do? get saucer saucer is the uh, closest one Let's see if we get something for FIFA. Yeah. For for FIFA, Bafana is the closest one. Then IPL is the closest one and so on. Okay. FIFA World Cup itself comes over here. Okay. So this is how you can use the pre-trained model. Now, like the previous one, you can also check the most similar words, right? For example, you say football and here use, use FIFA what you see is 0 0.3 that is the similarity score so well this is how you can you know uh, implement the word to wake model in python in the next video we will try to train a model and do some sort of modeling or prediction using the word to wake see you in the next one thank you very much for watching